All right, guys, how we doing today? So I'm at the Thomas and Mack Center, and these are one of the videos that I wanted to do from the heart. I feel good today. Today is Friday, July 2nd, and as uh, we're having uh, many people that's coming here for the weekend, and just so you'll know, there's uh, some remnants of uh, MGM Signature, the uh, Hilton Grand, the Caesars Palace, and then the airport. Um, I wanted to do a video about the Alright folks, so I'm over here right by uh, Coach Tarkanian, okay? And believe it or not, when I grew up in Virginia, I had a friend of mine, just so you'll know, that actually went to junior college with uh, Sean Kipp. He played in junior college with, uh, Larry John uh, against Larry Johnson and, and Antonio McDice. That's if you guys are like old enough to remember those uh, gentlemen. Larry Johnson went here, but he played at Od Odessa Community College, and those guys went to Texas. Actually, he recommended me to come here to go play basketball. When I was, think I was a sophomore or junior in college, the same year they won the um, the championship or that 37 and one team. But that's what I want to talk about here, okay? Uh, remembering the, especially the 1991 running rebels uh they went 37 and 1 they should have went 38 and 0 okay uh or 39 and 0 all right but uh well i think it's political factions that are involved in that and i don't want to get into that okay um but again uh 30 years from now or yeah or uh, let's say 30 years ago larry johnson uh greg anthony and uh Let's see here. Stacy Alvin was uh, drafted in the NBA in the first round, okay? And they had stellar careers and all that, okay? There's uh, Coach uh, Tarkanian, okay? Uh, looking down there, that's the uh, the big three there, okay? The team there, all right? So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, that uh, Coach had passed away 2014. Uh, and that was a great team. In fact, that that team was so good back then, they had a lot of influence on a lot of uh, young people aspiring, you know, to go to the league, even coming here. They were better than a lot of pro teams at that time, though a lot of those uh, college teams at the time. That, and they stayed for four years. A lot of them, some maybe were starting to leave after their junior year if they made, like, college player of the year or second two-time first team All-American at that time and so forth. But uh, I want to say in the middle of the 90s, once they or the NCAA decided to let them, they only stay for one year or the NBA, okay, uh, around that time when Kevin Garnett was drafted, then a lot of the that uh, premier talent in college went away, okay. But back at that time, in the late middle 80s to early 90s, yeah, they had pro talent in college and the NBA couldn't wait for these guys. But back to uh, the uh, subject here. Actually, uh, Jerry Tarkanian, he started this pro, or he came to this program in the early 70s. I think the, uh, 73 from looking at the documentary. And you could look at the, doc the, uh, the documentary, okay? That's the national championship there. Actually, I'm going to get to the athletic department where they have the national championship at. Um, and I believe it was like the early, later 70s, where actually they went to the Final Four. They went to the Final Four and they lost, so he was building that program back then. And I guess the uh, NCAA were hitting up on some BS infractions. Tar uh, Coach Tarkanian was arguing stuff like little, uh, little stuff from Taxi Cab, 
uh, rides and stuff like that. Maybe if they wanted to go out with their girlfriends to stuff like making a whole uh, uh, pay call in the hotel room back then when, you know, you really didn't have cell phones because they cost uh, a lot back then, an arm and a leg, and they were so big, they were like garage door openers. But yeah, that's what it was though, okay? So they put the screw on probation uh, against playing in the playoffs, okay? Uh, for a while, and they were coming back up in the late 80s. That pro, uh, so I, th I think it took them about a good 10 years for them to come back up. And I do remember in the final eight or the final four, like guys like Armand Gilliam, okay, that he also had a stellar pro career. Um, uh, there's another guy who's a six foot five uh, guard. Uh, I forgot his name though. Uh, it'll, it'll get to me. But some of you guys that went to LV, you guys know that guy's name. Um, he's a six foot five uh, two guard. Back then they called a swing man, all right, uh, that played. Uh, he's actually one of the uh, vice president of the uh, Los Angeles Lakers. You could look him up. Uh, he was decent, you know. And um, back then I got distracted because somebody was leaving the the, uh, the office inside the uh, Thomas and Max Center. But yeah, this is a, a monument in in memory of uh, Tar uh, Tarkanian. But back to what I was saying. So, uh, when Larry Johnson joined this team in 19, I believe, 89, uh, from junior college, uh, that's when pretty much it, it was starting to become a dynasty. I do remember that team, and I remember early in the season they had a rocky start until they figured out what their roles were. And I think when Larry Johnson figured out his uh, – full potential and they won that year the national championship in fact they blew out duke by like 30 points all right uh and uh, that was like the worst national champ championship blowout in history okay and those guys from duke they'll tell you or whatever they have uh, much respect for the team okay and uh i remember a girl i was dating years back when i first moved here said when they came back to UNLV, they had like 50,000 people out here in the parking lot of the Thomas and Mack Center, okay? But for the most part, what I wanted to, uh, I want to just say that back, you know, then when we really didn't have any sports, they may have had a semi-pro, I think they tried a semi-pro football team in the USFL, that didn't work out. But this was a show in town right here, the UNLV running Rebels, okay? And again, they got just as much respect as pro players, okay? And some guys would come out here, all right, probably from California or regionally, just to see these guys play. That's how good they were. And they really meshed as a team or whatever. They weren't really uh, a family. And they worked, they played hard and they trained hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but LJ was the truth, man. He was like 6'7", about 250 or whatever, all right? Um, this guy was running, you know, he was uh, moving those guys out of the way. So that Zion Williamson guy, that's uh, Larry Johnson was like an early prototype or like Charles Barkley, okay? I think Charles Barkley is a little bit more crafty on the front and the fast break, but, um, and then, uh, let's see here. Greg Anthony was also a floor general, okay? He had a pretty stellar career at New York. Actually, those both, got both those guys played together, Larry Johnson and uh, Greg Anthony. They went to the championship, I believe it's 99-2000, and lost against the Spurs when they won their first championship. So, all right, but moving on to the 1990-91, okay, that they also had a great season. And I believe that they would have finished up 39-0 uh, and zero or whatever, but again, I told you before that there were some political reasons why I think that they're not, they did not win, okay? Um, but that's just my opinion, all right? I don't want to get too much into conspiracy. But uh, I can remember that they were blowing guys out all year long. They played the number two team, okay? The game everybody wanted to see, Arkansas, and they blew them out by like 25 points. And I can remember it was Todd Day was supposed to have been the man, and Larry Johnson, they pretty much dismantled them dudes. And 
Todd Day would start pushing on him and swinging on him or whatever, and they threw LJ out of the game because You've got mail. he wanted to, he just was defending himself. All right, I didn't like that at all. All right, and as you know, they were blowing people out in the playoffs, and they lost against Duke. I think by like five, all right, late in the game, in the final four, okay? Which, again, I thought that they should not have had lost, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So, and right after that, the school was put on probation for alleged, I guess, some point shaving or, you know, that the guys were dealing with some type of, I don't know, like loan shark or some type of betting shark or whatever, okay, uh, for a few years in the middle of the 90s. Basically, because they did not want UNLV to be a dynasty, all right? And Jerry Car Tarkanian moved on to Fresno State. Now, I think he tried to pro uh, coach a little bit for the, for the Spurs. And the guys, again, they had great careers and all that. But for the most part, this is where, you know, the, as far as in, you know, sports, uh, I don't know, the popularity started right here at UNLV, okay? And they will be remembered, all right? Probably from guys like me, if you're 40 and up, okay? And here's a nice statue. He passed away, uh, Coach Starkanian, in 2014. And they turned off the lights in the strip just for, you know, in memory of his his death. And you can come.